But first, breaking news out of Warwick right now. Several cars involved in a crash on Route 95 South at exit 12, right near the exit for the Rhode Island and Warwick Mall. State police tell us a trooper was involved in the crash, but was not seriously hurt. A live look from our DOT camera along 95 South. This is near Lawrence Street in Cranston, where traffic is back to normal right now, but had been backed up well past there just an hour ago. Let's go live to Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace, live from the scene with more details for us now. And Mike and Shannon, this accident, or, or accidents because it involves several vehicles, happened at around 2 o'clock this afternoon on 95 South, as you said, right around exit 12B in Warwick. We're about one exit north from where the accident actually took place. A state trooper, as you said, was involved in this accident. He nor anyone else, to our knowledge, was not seriously injured in this accident. Let's take a look at a picture that we have from the Department of Transportation shortly after that accident occurred. And you can see in the right-hand lane, emergency vehicles responding to this accident again right at exit 12B on 95 South. Lieutenant Colonel Stephen O'Donnell, the head of Rhode Island State Police, was in our studios earlier this afternoon and described exactly what happened. This afternoon, one of our troopers is on enforcement detail where he has a motor vehicle stopped. As he has a car stopped, there's two other cars that come up in, a, in an accident in the high-speed lane at 95 South at Coesit. While that's happening, traffic that's watching in the same direction, one car collided with another and rear-ended him, and that put, pushed that car into the trooper who was out of the car on a car stop. And once again, the trooper was hit in the leg. It is not believed that he nor anyone else was seriously injured, but he was taken to Kent County Hospital for, quote, out of an abundance of caution. Coming up at 6 o'clock, Lieutenant Colonel O'Donnell shares his personal feelings whenever he hears that one of his troopers has been injured while doing their very dangerous job right on the side of the road. Reporting live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.